Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to make 3D props into a channel point redeem or a YouTube command so that way you can have some more interaction stuff with your audience for VTubing stuff in Wadado. So let's go to add asset here. And we're going to add the prop asset. Then uh, here you can either click on the uh, drop down here or the preview gallery. For my case, since I don't want to accidentally reveal any client uh, stuff, I'm going to go ahead, uh, scroll all the way down here, and I'm going to, let's say, have a duck. I don't know, a duck prop. And then I'm going to have that duck, as you can see here, I want this to be on my head and have that as a redeem where uh, if someone were to redeem a channel point or type out a command, a duck will appear on my head for a certain amount of seconds. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to add, uh, you can actually go here, attach to character and attach this to somewhere on your uh, character here. So for my case, it's literally in my head. So going to do that. Again, you can put it anywhere else on the body if you want. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click and drag the Z. And then just, you know, click uh, the little layers here. And then click and drag until it's uh, to what you want. So now I have a duck on my head. Oh my god, it's so derpy. I will name it Benson. So Benson here. We're going to turn into a redeem. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this asset. I'm going to name this 3D prop redeem. Uh, or you could say duck redeem. Um, whichever you want. Name it to however you feel. And I'm going to set this to no. So that way by default it doesn't appear. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the blueprints here. We're going to add a blueprint here. We're going to rename this into a 3D prop redeem. And then press on OK. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to collapse the sidebar here. You can always uh, extend it back. I'm going to go here and we're going to type in Twitch. And then uh, channel points redeemed right here. Click and drag. Then we're going to type in string contains. Click and drag. And then if branch, click and drag. Then connect these together. Exit to enter here, reward title to A, and then output boolean to condition. You can name this depending on what your channel point redeem name is. Because what this node setup that you see here, again, like I say in other tutorials of mine, this channel point, if it's redeemed, if that reward title is named, let's say duck redeem, if that condition, if it's true, then what we're going to do in order to make the prop toggle and have it timed, we need to use set asset property. So set asset property allows us to manipulate anything in the assets panel, meaning you could turn something into a redeem or something or toggle or something like that. You know, for our case, we are using this for a 3D prop redeem. So if it's true, then we're going to have this asset be the duck redeem. Data pass is going to be enabled. And then what you're going to do is set the target value to yes. Then you're going to click on this node, control C, then control V. And then what you're going to do is have that set to no. Now what goes in between these nodes here is a timer, which is going to be delay flow. Delay control flow right here. This is so that way we can tell that you know if this redeem is triggered and is true then uh it will make the duck redeem enabled so you'll see the duck this delay will give it you know the flow some delay time so let's say five seconds so um, after five seconds are up it will then turn off the duck redeem uh so in order to test it you press on the enter right here and there's a duck on my head for five seconds and then it should automatically turn off like that so again please make sure to go to your twitch creator dashboard under viewer rewards and add a channel point redeem that's exactly spelt the same way you could just even copy and paste it over to twitch of your rewards and you should be good to go 
Now, what about turning this into a YouTube version if I want that? Well, simply all you have to do, um, actually, yeah, simply all you have to do, you can actually, uh, copy and paste it, or again, you can do some other combination stuff, but just to keep it easy for you, I'm going to actually go ahead and press on duplicate blueprint, and I can rename this to just say uh youtube for some you know for example and then for youtube all we have to do is replace the channel point redeem for twitch to a youtube a youtube chat received node here then you connect exit to enter the message goes into a and we type out here a command name so we can do command exclamation mark duck or something else and again to make sure that the YouTube and the Twitch works properly with Wadado you need to go into your menu settings and then you go into Twitch and log in with your account or YouTube and type out your user URL or you know your channel URL pretty much uh, you just press enter unfortunately you cannot get rid of this window yes it's annoying I don't know how to fix it for you uh, so you're just gonna have to minimize it when you can and you just put the uh, URL of your channel and bada bing bada boom so pretty much here uh, that's how you can be able to connect your account and therefore these redeems both YouTube and Twitch should work perfectly fine and you should be able to have a 3D prop as a redeem. I hope that this tutorial does help you out on getting the basics of doing some redeem stuff and have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!